Hey y'all, so today I'm just going to show you guys how I personally do my plaques. I've seen many different ways and this is just one more way I might show you guys something that somebody else didn't. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Let's talk about it in the questions I answer back. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Really quick y'all, this is how you do the QR code. You literally just pull up your camera on your phone and you put it to the QR code and it literally pops up at the top of your screen. You click it and there you have it. I usually check it before I put it on the picture permanently just to make sure. It usually always works, never really had a problem out of it. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I did in Design Space. So you guys gonna go into your Cricut Design Space. This one is a baby plaque. So you literally can design it however you want. Put your words where you want, your picture where you want. This is just the way that I did mine. The font I used here is called Back to School. I got it from thefont.com. I just like this one for... There goes my alarm again, guys. Sorry. But this one I just liked because it reminds me of like a babyish kind of font. A kid font. Whatever. Cool. So Back to School font. I put in the information, I threw in the little footprints, go on Google, type in baby footprint SVGs, they have so many, choose the one you like, save it to your computer, clean it up and upload it into your project. For the um, plaques that I've just started using, it's the Dollar Tree frames, the certificate frames, which are a little bit bigger than the 8.5 by 11, because I really have a hard time finding the... 11 by 14 in Dollar Tree and I don't want to go to Walmart and spend the four or five dollars for the frame so that's just what we use that's just what I use um, now if you're doing a in loving memory plaque or a wedding plaque like the ones that I have showed you guys previously the way I get that QR code okay you go to YouTube now some people have Spotify a lot of my clients they have told me I don't have Spotify can I use a um, YouTube QR code cool so I go to YouTube the song that I did for the last wedding plaque I um, made was John Legend stay with me so you go to YouTube you type in John Legend stay with me you click on the video scroll down and then you would click let me pause that share and copy the link okay then you're gonna go to qrcodegenerator.com you copy that link you paste it right in there bum simple okay so it's gonna create your code enter there's your code Download JPEG. If you want to, you can go ahead and sign up for it and do all that stuff. But I noticed it works without me doing that. So just to save time, I honestly never did it. But I will eventually. And there's my QR code. You can literally test it on your phone right there. Matter of fact, you do it now just to make sure. You'll go to your um, camera. Click it. And bomb, it popped up. Perfect. So... Then you will go back into Cricut Design Space and upload your QR code. Let's just say, for example, I was going to put a QR code on this baby's picture. This is how I would do it just to show you guys. Save it as a printing cut. Upload it into my project. And if I wanted to put a QR code on his picture, I just literally resize it, put it down at the bottom, group it, and then flatten it. And that's it. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. But I don't want that, so I'm going to take it out. But if you were doing a memorial plaque or a plaque, that the customer will want a song on. That's how you do it. When you go on to make it, you print it on your sticker paper. Same thing with um the permanent outdoor vinyl 651 or whatever you use. You don't have to 
um, mirror it. And we'll go in and look for premium outdoor vinyl. That's what you're going to use to cut it. Click it and I'm going to be using the 651 permanent vinyl. I'm also using the certificate frame from the Dollar Tree store. They also have a um, glue called E6000 that if the customer decides that they want the frame, you can use that to bond down the frame. Most people usually only like the glass. If they do, that is what you use. I'll put the link in the description down below for that glue. So as crafters, we know things don't always go as planned. I didn't realize when I went back in to fix something else, I ended up resizing it a little too large. So I just ended up turning the glass the opposite way and just coming up with something different than what I originally intended to do. But it still came out great, so it's all good. realized it had a little gap that I did not like so I went ahead and put a little heart right there it ended up coming out just fine you guys if you have any comments please comment down below let's talk about it y'all let's talk about it I'll be uploading videos weekly from here on out so please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch y'all next time later